Hello guys, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix skull and bonds is having issue with crashing it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low FPS drop stuck on loading screen and even black screen which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about as you can see the game is right now available in the epic games go epic games which is for 2999 so I bought this game. So over here, when I'm trying to launch the game, I'm having few issues. So we're going to talk about some of the possible workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a restart. And that is what we have to do. So to do a restart, just go over here in the start icon. Go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, just go back and try launching the game. That is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now I'm launching the game from Steam and that is why I'm having the error. Not from the Steam but from the Epic Games or whatever it, it is. When you're launching the game from the Epic Games or Ubisoft, we'll be having this trouble. So we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in this particular icon. Now from here we have to go over here, go to the manage. Now just go over here in this particular icon, just click on installation. Now when you click on this, as you can see, you are redirected to the installation folder. If you check at the top over here, that is this PC, local disk C, program file X80, program files, Epic Games and over here. So right now you can see this is the application that is Skull and Bonds. So just launch the game from here. So when you launch the game, instead of launching it from the application, if you launch the game from the installation folder, it will be working in most cases. Apart from this, you can try two more steps which is called run the game as administrator and also we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as administrator, we have to go over here, right click, go to show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program as administrator, this is the first one and go for apply and go for ok. If that is not working, right click over here, go to show more option, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 as the first one go for apply set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and once it has been successfully done what you need to do is we just need to close this and still if it's not working we have to move to the next step next step is all about just make sure the date and you have to make sure the region is correct for this just go over here in the search search for settings like this navigate to settings now go for uh, time and language go for date and time make sure the time zone and time every three things should be turned on time zone should be turned on set time zone should be turned on as well and also you have to turn this on now we just need to go back language and region from here you have to make sure that you have the country is correct so you have to make sure that you have to select the country according to your geography for example if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. If you're from any other country, you have to do it accordingly. So we are just matching the geography. And once you set this up, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Just go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC, navigate to the documents. And over here, as you can see, there are a lot of folders. So the folder is there for skull and bonds. If you just go over here, delete the folder. Keep in mind, when you delete this folder, you will be losing all the progressions of the game and you have to start from the scratch. But even though each particular step, this particular step did help with me, many users, so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is, we just need to move to the next one. We have to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search, search for control panel like this, search for the control panel, navigate to the control panel, Go for uh, system and security, not system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. So Skull and Bond. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. So uh, the game Skull and Bond might be added here. So in most cases. So if the game is not here, if it's not added, we can add it by default. So just click on the change setting over here. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program files. Now from here we have to navigate to Epic Games. Now from here I think this is the folder. So over here, yes. Now just select the application, 
go for open and we have to add it. So the skull and bones is added. And also make sure both the private and both the public, both has to be marked. One is in market, so I marked myself and afterwards just close everything and go back and try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if the issue is there, still the issue is there and if it's persisting again and again, you can try with the next one. That is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, joysticks might be connected with multiple monitors might be connected. So even these cause the issue up. So just unplug everything. So once everything is unplugged, launch the game. Afterwards, just connect it back and try. And this particular step did work in for many games, including the Avada franchise of Pandora. And also it worked for the Moto Fest as well. So just try this and this worked for many users. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, search for system configuration, search for the system configuration, select this one. Now from here, go to the services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. Now from here, they're going to ask you for restart. The users who are watching this, you have to go for restart. I'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting. So just go for exit without restart and afterwards try. Next step is all about we need to do is we just need to make sure that you have to close all the overlay application. So I'll be showing you this. Just go over here in the start, right click and navigate to the task manager. So right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So these things that are background process apps are 56 apps are running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue. So just remove the unwanted things. For example, Discord should be removed, Reward Tuner should, should be removed, MSC Afterburner should be removed, unwanted things should be removed from here. We have to remove everything and once everything is successfully removed and afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this, we just need to go over here, search for graphics settings. We have to search for the graphics settings. Now from here, we have to navigate to over here. So as you can see, I have already added lots of games in the same way we have to add the game. Just click on the browse that will take you to this. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program files, go to the Epic Games, go over here, this particular folder, select the game, skull and bonds. You have to select this one and go for add. So the game is added, just click on the option and change this to high performance. And once you set this to high performance and go for save, and once it's been successfully saved, we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory, which is a very important step. For in increasing the virtual memory, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search, go for view advanced system setting, go to the advanced tab, go for settings, go for advanced, go for change, make sure this is automatically, this should be unchecked and you should be selecting the local disk where the game is installed. In my case, it is local disk C. Go for the custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size three times the total RAM. So just go over here. We need to find a calculator. So just type your RAM. So 32 GB is the RAM. So just type 32 GB multiplied with 1024. Just multiply it with 1024. Multiply it with 1.5, that is 14 and 152, and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Next one, multiply 32 GB, multiply it with 1024, and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 98, 304, and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. So set this value, which is a very important step. This even worked for many users, you can try this out. Afterwards, you can try with the restart and afterwards go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, you can also try uh, updating the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go to this particular page, select everything like your product type should be selected, product series should be selected, product should be selected and operating system should be selected and everything should be selected over here. For example, what we have to do, we have to select everything like GeForce, RTX should be selected. Go for start search. Now from here, we can just go over here and the driver version is 551.52 is the driver version. So that uh, which is released on 13th February 2024. Download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launch the game. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here and go for submit. And if you're having Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. 
Next one, you can also try updating the, uh, you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here. Now from here, we can navigate to this one. That is over here. The system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, we can download this one and install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, update the windows. So just go over here in the search, go over here in the settings. We have to navigate to the windows update, just update the windows. So restart is required. So if you're having any kind of cumulative updates like this, if you're having any versions of cumulative update, just update it and you have to do this. And once afterwards, just close everything. We have to go back and try launch the game. And last, you can also try one more step, which is called verify the game file, which is a very important step. Sometimes, you know, you might be having these kind of issues because the game files might be corrupted or that is why we are having the issue. So we just need to go over here and click on this particular icon. Now we just need to go to the manage. And from here, we are having the options. Either you can uh, do this up. So just go over here. So you can also uh, make sure you can also try doing a verify integrity of game file. Or if that is not the case, you can also try, you know, uh, do this up as well. You can also try giving the commands in the launch option. We can give the commands in the launch option. That is, you can give DX11, which is one of the command, and you can try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, we can try giving the command DX12. We can also try giving the command DX12. So DX12 will be working. So either the DX11 will be working or you can try with DX12. Any one of the things will be working fine as well. And also you can try uh, afterwards. Still, if you're having the trouble, you tried with this, you tried with verify integrity of game file, you have given the commands in the launch option. Still, if you're having the trouble, we can move to the next one. That is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here, go to the manage and we have to uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should be installing it back or not on the same local disk. You have to try a new local disk and that will be working fine. So these possible workarounds can be done when you're having an issue with skull and bonds is having an issue with crushing and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye